So uh, home is actually a very difficult word for me to define. Para mí el hogar es ese algo donde compartes tus afectos, tus cotidianidades y cosas íntimas y que le da vida a todo eso que haces. A lot of the time we have to kind of draw a circle around ourselves. We have to distance ourselves from the pain that we see in the world around us. And a good place to do that is at home. Home in terms of its physical location shifted for me within hours. Due to this pandemic, I had to relocate into a new home, which meant that I had to adjust to a new home environment, a new home culture, and a new home way of life. Estoy valorando muchísimo eso, lo, lo, que, lo que tengo adentro de mi casa. Y antes no tenía tiempo para, para valorarlo y para, para disfrutar de, de estas personas, que son las personas que, que más amo en el mundo, con las que quiero estar todo el tiempo. Así que eso es un sueño cumplido, Darian. I went crazy and I started cleaning everything and throwing out a lot of things. Once I started with the house, I was done. I decided I was going to do that with myself as well. I think that in this state of home is the place where I harbor sort of my darkest thoughts about myself. We have had experience with many cases of uh, domestic violence compared to before. I really feel a sense of solitude at home and I feel a sense of disconnection from my community and also my friends. With COVID, I feel like everyone is at home and everyone is looking at Instagram and the news and CNN. You see how they treat black people and minorities and I feel like it's, it's the most visibility we've ever had onto something like this. How my definition of home has changed with this pandemic is kind of taken away the sense of safety for me. It's erased the line that I've drawn around myself and it has, it's, it's exhausting. It's times like these that make you long for comfort and consistency. I think humans have a the exceptional ability to bring normalcy to just about any situation they're in. And I think humans, given uh, any sort of space that they can call their own and feel safe in, that they can bring in um, enough routine and normalcy and purpose to make that place feel like their home. I don't think there was anything particularly exceptional about the space that I was given to call my home, but because it was mine and because I was able to feel safe in it and I was able to kind of build my life out of it, um, it became my home.